everyone. I don't think I've made an intro to this video yet, so this is probably the first time you're going to see me. But today is the day before my photo shoot, so the next 24 hours is going to be prep, and then I'll obviously bring you along for the shoot as well. So today I am going to get my hair done. Um, I just need to get my roots done, but we'll see what the girl decides to do for me today. Um, so I have that in about an hour. And then I have pole later on today as well. And in between then, I need to get my pole and put it in my car. So there's quite a lot going on today. Um, I don't feel like I look my, myself today. My face is really red. So that's great. Hopefully that goes down throughout the day. And then right now, just before I go, I'm gonna put on some fake nails. There's one missing just because I've already opened them, but it's been so long since I've had fake nails on because I'm not allowed to wear them for work. So it's gonna be strange, but I feel like it just looks so much better to have nails on. I'm getting my makeup done tomorrow, so I will try and bring you along for that as well. And then the salon I'm going to today is quite small, so I'll probably not film too much, but I'll try and show you the inside because like the ceiling and stuff, it's really, really pretty. So I'll try and give you a peek of that because it just needs to be appreciated. Um, yeah, everything exciting is going to be happening tomorrow. So today is just going to be some prep. As for training and stuff, I've just been training as normal. Like I was at gymnastics last night. And then I've done some light stretching throughout the week. But it's definitely not as much as I should have. So we'll try and get some stretching done today as well. And then I'll probably stretch in the morning too. I haven't been doing anything like really special. I'm not even going to lie and say I've been trying to eat well because... I failed miserably at that. Um, I've been doing well like in the mornings, like I've just been having porridge and I put some protein and some collagen in there, but I do that every morning, like not just for a photo shoot, like I do that every morning for my breakfast. But when it comes to dinner and nighttime, I'm so bad. Um, I did have chicken and spinach last night, but I've also had McDonald's and takeaways within the last week. I just don't really have a lot of willpower. I think that's it. So I'm gonna pop these nails on and then we'll get ready to go to the hairdressers. So we are out of the hairdressers. I parked here for privacy, but I definitely feel like there's a car watching me, so love that. Um, but yeah, my hair looks so much better than it did before. Um, I didn't show you how it looked before. Basically the roots were lighter than the rest of my hair and they were really warm toned and now it's just so much better. There's a little bit of dye on my head, so just ignore that. Just need to go to pole now and get the pole from my house and then we are sorted until tomorrow. So I'm just getting a couple of bits for tomorrow and I found, I found my set that I used for my seven rings routine and I think I might bring that tomorrow with me as well. So this is like a little sneak peek at what it looks like and then the shorts are just the same. So I think I'm gonna bring that with me. And then these are my boots that I'm gonna bring. But I don't honestly know if they're going to look good because these are very peachy and the outfit that I have is purple so I don't honestly think it's going to go. But we will bring them and see. I'm going to bring a couple of pairs of shoes. And then I have on one of the sets that I'm going to bring with me tomorrow. So this is the Luna Lay one and then the shorts are the same then why is this so difficult so you can't even see how pretty the shorts actually are but yeah i just wanted to wear the set tonight so i can try it out to make sure that it's suitable but it should be fine but we'll see anyway um i'm gonna go to class now and then i will see you again tomorrow morning 
Hey, so I'm just jumping in here to talk you through what happened the day of the shoot. So as you can see here, I got my makeup done. Uh, the girl that did my makeup is called Lois and I actually met Lois through college because we both did beauty there together. Uh, now she does makeup full time. So I am going to link her pages below so that you can check out her makeup for yourself because she is very talented and her Halloween makeup is some of my favorites. So I am also gonna give you a little sneak peek at that. But on Instagram, her page is Lois Banks Makeup Artistry and then on Facebook, it's Makeup by Lois Banks. And here you can see some of her Halloween looks. Like they are unreal. And I'm really hoping that she's gonna post more this year. I'm patiently waiting. Uh, Lois actually also has a YouTube channel so I will link that below. She does makeup and vlogs so definitely give her some love over there. She did say to me that she wants to upload again very soon so definitely keep an eye out for that. And I'll just let you see the makeup for yourself. Um, I was so happy with the finished look. We just kept it really safe and did something very neutral but smoky because I had a couple of outfits and they were really bright colors so we just decided to keep it safe but i really loved the makeup i didn't want it to get off i wanted to just keep it on for the next day for my birthday but i did actually take it off and let my skin breathe Here is the final look to see for yourself. So the next clips are from on set at the actual shoot. So you can see me just stretching, warming up, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Um, but I'll not talk over them, I'll just let you see for yourself what kind of went on. Uh, the shoot went really well. We got so many pictures done, so many more than I thought we would. Um, and Bradley is so good at what he does, they made it so much easier. And because he photographs a lot of dancers, he knows what you're gonna be looking for. So he knew right away that I was gonna want to see like muscle definition in the pictures. So he was able to light me so that you could see that. And he was also really good at giving directions for like how to move your body, where to look. So that just made it so much easier because you didn't have to think about it all yourself. So even though he hasn't really shot pull before, as far as I know, he was still able to figure out what I wanted from the photo, how I wanted it to look. Um, so yeah, as of yet, I do not have the photos, but even if I did, I wouldn't show you because that would spoil it. So if you wanna see the photos, then make sure you're following my Instagram. I'll leave it up here and I'll also link it down below and I will be posting all of the photos on there.
So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing behind the scenes of a photo shoot. If you enjoyed this video then please let me know. I will definitely be doing more behind the scenes in the future of photo shoots, video prep, video routines um, and showcases. So stay tuned for that and if you've made it this far please leave me a like and remember to subscribe so that you never miss one of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!